Morning folks, a bit late to start this morning. Right, this is a piece of um, 15 inches by, by 11, Saunders Waterford cold press, 90 pound weight. Lovely, lovely paper. I've got some 200 pound Buckingford and all Saunders that my friend Dennis Eve sent me. I'm preserving some of that for when I get good at this. Okay, uh, colours, usual colours. Cadmium yellow, no, it's not cadmium yellow, that is gamboge. 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 Raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, don't use much of that. Payne's grey, that's a Payne's grey, but blue cast, I'm not a lover of that. And burnt sienna. So uh, we'll uh, put a bit of a sky in. Ooh, got something on there. I want to do a sort of an estuary type of painting, so I'll just get a bit of a nice bit of bit of blue in there. Just loosening it. Watercolors dry about fifty percent lighter than when you when you put them on. And a bit of light red for that. That's a good strong blue. We clip, put it tight. Okay, now I'm going to dry that now, so I'll mute you. Oh, that looks very overexposed, doesn't it? So let's change that. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, that's probably about about right. Uh, taking the white balance on there. Right, so we get a, another hake, a medium hake. I'll put in a bit of a bit of a background. I'm thinking of something like Arlesford Creek in uh, the Blackwater Estuary on in Essex, coast of Essex. Uh, nice. Right, okay, so let's just get to Okay, it's just a gentle coast, that's it, this bit anyway. Right, now we'll get a bit of, bit of dry brush. Right, I'll try that now. Uh, 
Okay, uh, using the same brush, I'm going to put some some trees across there, across this horizon. So I'm going to use uh, let's use a bit of Payne's grey. Remove any loose hairs. I'm going out towards the sea now. Quite tricky. And it's a very, very soft touch. Quite difficult, I just have to take good care with this sort of thing because you don't know what the other corner of the brush is doing. Okay, leave that to simmer. Now we're going to do a bit of a bit of a sweep across there with some. Sienna, I think. I'll move these. Let's move clip down there. Uh, there's a bit of burnt umber in there as well. I will use some. Don't use a lot of it, but uh, just to darken a little bit. Quite rough. It's not a rough paper, but it's okay. Let's go. We we'll get some dark in there in a minute. Phew. Mixing a bit of burnt, uh, uh, a bit of paint spray with this now. Uh, just making up a foreground. Uh, a little bit of color on there. Don't be worried or frightened to use some impasto. Just just to change the tone. But when you're painting over wet, you need thick paint anyway. Otherwise it won't uh, register. 
they'll just disappear into the background. Okay, let's have this drying a bit. Let's get some harder stuff. Now you can burn up by mixing a bit of Payne's grey with the with a sienna burnt sienna. Put a bit of green in there, just a bit of uh, Payne's Grey and Gambouge. I think I'm going to stay with the Gambouge, I'm going to get some more of it. It's really beautiful colour pigment. Well, I never just want some scrubby trees up there now. I'll dry that off. I need to uh, go over that with some some trees or some scrubby trees. Uh, pause. Right, okay. Um, can I use my large tape now? I'll just put a bit of a colour, a bit of sienna, or a bit of that, just a bit darker. So a little bit of bank across. Now we've got uh, on the radio we've got uh, the coverage of the G7 summit at Newquay in Cornwall. Well, well, we've been to Newquay, I was the Watergate Bay area, many, many times. It's our favourite place in the UK. Uh, that's where they are. There's a couple of really big hotels on the on the on the over the top of Newquay, and a lovely harbour. Been fishing off the harbour wall many times in the past, fishing for mackerel. Very rarely catching any. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm going to use the rigger for these trees. Put some uh, leaves on this, or autumn leaves. Um, 
we don't want two trees the same so we'll uh, Just using the palette grave, the bit of Payne's grave mixed with the burnt sienna. Oh, let's uh, put a f some shadow in there. Right, here we go, we've got a hake, we've got a small hake. We've got a wet one, where have I put it? Here it is. Now what you do is uh, get a piece of dry towel in. And then just break it up on your brush, I mean on your cloth, your brush. Now we want that lovely uh, sienna colour. We need a bit of bit of wet. Put a bit of, bit of Payne's grey for a bit of shadow colour and. Go on the other side, smash the brush. There's a bit of dark, a bit of greeny stuff in there. Move your brush around. Okay. Clean that. All right, let's just give a bit of impression of, of, of boats. You know, where's my little brush? So just a bit of bit of bit of mauve, mauve blue. Uh, I've got to change that. Right, I'm going to put a bit of gouache out. Get my rig up. I'll put, I'll put a I'll put a say up. Well, this white. Uh, this uh, white.
Well, right, well, we're not going to make any more complications than that. That shows for, for pretty odd birding. It's very, very dry today. Okay, we'll put a mouse on that. As it's a very simple one, but uh, well, we got a tape. So just uh, zoom out a little bit. There we are. Just a simple estuary. I hope you like it, folks. I'll just I'll just lighten it a bit because. Um, just changing the settings that's about right that the mount is very light so at least the show is very light but not so light uh, yeah that's probably as good as we go to get thanks for looking folks i'll see you soon bye bye